Welcome to another math prompt of the week. Last two digit of a big number. Let's talk about it. For today's question, we are asked to find the last two digit of this big number. Um, this is a typical question in Math Olympia. The options are A27, B47, C67, and D87. What do you think? Pause the video now if you wish to solve it. Keep watching the video once ready. I'm going to provide you two different ways to solve this question. The first way is listing out the last two digits for 3 to the power n with the normal number of n. Because last two digits can range from 0, 0 to 99 and it is finite. Sooner or later, we will get a pattern, a repeated pattern. So from there, we can get what happened to this. What we present here is only for the last two digits of 3 to the power n. So we start with 3, 1 is equal to 0, 3, 3, 2, 0, 9, 3, 3, 27, 3, 4, 81. 2 to the power 5 is 243. We only want to consider the last two digits. So this is 43. Now note that 3 to the power of 20 is 0, 1. So it means that 3 to the power of 20k plus m will equal to 3 to the power of m. In more technical terms, you will say that these two numbers will conquer mode 100. Okay? So the last two digits of these two numbers will be the same, where mn is positive integer. So what we have here is 3 to the power 2, 0, 2, 1, 1, 0, 1, 9 will be congruent to 3 to the power of 19. And 3 to the power of 19, as we see, it is equal to 67 mod 100. And therefore, this will be the answer. By listing out and see when we can get the repeated number, it's a usual technique that you use when first started this kind of question. Now we are going to look at some different methods. By a known result, 3 to the power of 5n is congruent to 1 mod n. What is the meaning of 5n? 5n is a number in the set containing k, where the GCD of kn is equal to 1, where k is in between 1 and n. So for example, 5, 1 equals 1, 5, 2 equals 1, 5, 3 equals 2, 5, 4 is equals to 2, and so on and so forth. There's a formula for 5, 100, that is 100, 1 minus 1 over 2, 1 minus 1 over 5, where 2 and 5 are prime factors of 100. And in this case, we have 40. So this means that 3 to the power of 40 is congruent to 1 mod 100. This means that the last two digit of 3 to the power of 40 is equal to 0, 1. While the last two digit of 3 to the power of 40 is equal to 1. It does mean that this 40 is the smallest positive integer. So we may want to find out what is, let's say, 3 to the power of 20. A common mistake is that people think if a square congruent to 1 mod k, then a is congruent to 1, or a is congruent to negative 1 mod k. Now, in general, this is not true. This is only true if k is a prime number. If k is a prime number, then this is true. If not, it may not be true. So we can consider 3 to the power of 20 minus 1. 3 to the power of 5 to the power of 4 minus 1. This is equal to 3 power of 5 
square plus 1, 3 power 5 square minus 1. 3 power 10 plus 1, power of 5 plus 1, and 3 power 5 minus 1. Note that 3 power 10 is equal to 9 to power 5 plus 1. And this is 3 to power 5 plus 1, 3 power 5 minus 1. Okay, note that x plus 1 divide x to power 5 plus 1. So it means that 10 divide 9 to power 5 plus 1. This means that this is a multiple of 10. So we see that this is a multiple of 10. And just write as m for this value. And this is equal to ac. So what we have here that this is a, actually is a multiple of 100. So what we conclude here is that 3 to the power of 20 minus 1 is a multiple of 100. And therefore, 3 to the power of 20 is congruent to 1 mod 100. This is important. And therefore, for this, 3 to the power of 2021-1019 will be congruent to 3 to the power of 19 mod 100. If you multiply another 3, this will be equal to 0, 1. So this means that um, this is equal to some 2 number multiplied with 3 it will give you a 0, 1. Then we know that this number has to be equal to 7, so that you will have 21. In order to get a 0 here, this should be equal to a 6. This is 18, yeah? So this will be equal to 67 mod 100. Uh, later on, I'll give some extension for this question, and for now, we look at other people's solution. end of today's lesson. See you again. Bye-bye.